Yo, what is up guys? My name is Apache and welcome to my Shadowplay 2017 tutorial. So I've made a couple of uh, Shadowplay tutorials in the past and if you want to go ahead and check those out for, for whatever reason, you can go ahead and do that. But um, without further ado guys, let's get straight into the tutorial. So firstly to start off with, um, you're going to need an NVIDIA graphics card. So if you don't have an NVIDIA graphics card, like a, for example, GTX 980 or anything um, below that, you won't be able to use this um, tutorial, you won't be able to use GeForce Experience. So um, yeah, probably have to use another software like OBS or something. And um, another another thing that uh, you have to keep in mind is some graphics cards don't actually support um, GeForce Experience or uh, Shadowplay. So if you are if you have like an older graphics card, an older laptop graphics card or something like that, just keep in mind you may not be able to use this tutorial, so just, yeah. Uh, without further ado, guys, let's um, let's go straight into the tutorial. So, in order to actually get into the overlay, which holds um, Shadowplay, you need to press the key binding Alt X. So, once we're in uh, GeForce Experience, once we're, once we're in uh, Shadowplay, we can go ahead and um, check out some of the options here. So, we've got Instant Replay, we've got Record, we've got Broadcast, we've got Gallery, and we've got our mic settings and our video settings. Uh, to start off with, we've got Instant Replay, which is it's sort of like once you turn it on, like press turn on, and then one as soon as you press that button, it starts recording. However, don't don't get fooled by that. Um, it doesn't actually waste or use up any hard drive slash SSD space as long as you don't press the key to um, basically save it. So instant replay is sort of like a thing that constantly keeps recording your gameplay or desktop or whatever. However, it doesn't actually save the recording file if you don't press the button in order to uh, save it, I guess. So it's sort of like a, a really good way of gathering clips that you know are, like say, say like highlights or something, gathering highlights instead of um, doing huge, huge chunks of recording, like hours and hours of footage and having to go through that and picking out little little highlights there with instant replay you can choose um, when to um, save your uh, I guess recording when to save it and how long it saved like how long the recording saves back so if we go into customize here oh, we're gonna stop recording first so turn it off and then go to customize so in here the replay length is I think by standard is 10 minutes which is a 60 gig file but if you want like little clips, say like a, I don't know, a round winning kill cam or something in like COD, go to like, you know, two minutes or something like that. So it only records two minutes of your gameplay. So yeah, uh, it goes up to 20 minutes though. You know, 20 minutes is still a lot. So I would recommend just going between five to 10 minutes uh, if you really want to. And um, it's just, it's just basically, it's not meant to be for recording huge chunks. It's meant to be just for like uh, special moments. Say if you want to make a, a, a montage or something uh, in your videos, then this is probably the perfect uh, way to actually do it. So uh, yeah, so we've got the quality, obviously. We have low, medium, high, and we've got custom, which is over here. So obviously high, you have, um, so let's go to low. Low, obviously, no one wants to do that. That's, that's just terrible. You've got 15 bit rates. Uh, 15 megabit bitrate, you don't want that, you do not want that. So go on to custom and then um, choose a a reasonable bit rate, uh, bit rate for your uh, for your um, uh, upload speed. So say if you got a pretty good upload, uh, upload speed, like a, let's say 40 megabits. 40 megabit uh, upload speed, you, you can say around 80. 80 is sort of like the, the, the sweet spot for bitrate and I don't think anyone should go above that, and I don't think anyone should go below, uh, say, 70. 70 and 80 is the best. It's like the sweet spot for, for bit rates. So, if you want good quality, obviously go for the 80, uh, but if you want, uh, obviously, a smaller uh, file size, go for 70 bit rate, and, uh, and so on. So, say for my example, I'll give you my exa an example of mine. I have a 5 megabit upload, so I would go for around 70, so 
<clears throat> 70 to 80. Uh, depends on the upload. If you have any uh, questions on your upload speed, just leave them down in the comments below and I'll answer it. Like, say you don't know what bit rate to choose, just leave them down in the comments below and um, I'll read them and give you a response. So you got your resolution. You got, you got 4K, you got 2K, you got 1080p, and you got 720p. And obviously you got those, but you don't want to touch those. <clears throat> so I would always recommend uh, keeping your resolution at in-game. This is obviously whatever resolution you choose for your in-game. Say your in-game resolution is 1080p, then it will record in 1080p. Pretty standard stuff, so that's easy. And then you got FPS, 60 or 30. This obviously depends on your computer. If you don't have a, a beefy computer, if you don't have a computer that can be able to handle 60 FPS, then obviously go for 30. But obviously, if you have a if you have a good computer, a good CPU, then um, you obviously want to go for 60 FPS. You don't want to, you don't want to lose that uh, FPS quality, and then because the video will just look a lot uh, clunky. So yeah, uh, just go for 60 FPS if you got a good computer. So let's just save that, and then we have got our recording, which is the the standard recording that you you you, you love and you know and love. So you want to customize? This is pretty much the exact same. So. The exact same settings that you choose for the um, for instant replay, do it for this. It's literally exactly the same. It's just it's a different way of actually recording. That's the only difference is the way of recording is a lot different. This is like the you know press button, press the record button. It records for a certain amount of time. As soon as you press the stop button, it stops recording. So it's basically that the uh, the the traditional way of recording. So yeah. So just choose the, the settings that you have for the uh, instant replay there. So just don't have to worry about that. So in order to actually start, you press start and then, you know, it will start recording. Or you can use the hotkey that you um, bind it to. So yeah, <clears throat> we've got um, your mic for phone here. So you can choose whether to, um, one second. So you can choose whether to have it on push at all, always on or off. Standard stuff here. If you're just recording gameplay, then I don't see the reason to have it on. So just yeah, turn it off. You got customize here, and then you got your your volume, your boost. I don't want to touch. You shouldn't touch this. Just leave it at default. You should be fine. And this is your recording device, which is you want to have it on the best mic, obviously. So if you have a a stand mic, a a podcast mic, a, a mic that you that is not your headset mic or something like that, like just a external uh, microphone, then use that instead of the, um, instead of like your headset mics. See, it picked up my headset mic, so you obviously want to change it to the better mic. There we go. So save. <clears throat> Look at gallery, which is, it. Uh, you can upload your, um, you can upload your screenshots, your footage, your whatever, and uh, I guess people can see it, but I don't really want to touch this. I don't really care about uh, this too much, so yeah. And you got what? Um, you got your webcam. If you want to have a webcam, I think, but you don't. Yeah. So if you want to have, you know, you don't really want to. Yeah, touch that. Unless you have a webcam, I can't turn it on because I don't, obviously don't have one. So yeah, just don't worry about that uh, for now. Let's go to settings. And we don't want to really worry about connect. We want to worry about uh, overlays. So in overlays, this is not the most important. So if you're if you're live streaming, you can. Um, see how much viewers you have so uh, whatever position you put here is uh, displays on your monitor so this is the top right so if you look on the top right of your monitor you can see that um, it appears so if you go done 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 oh well it doesn't show it here because I need to turn this on so turn on instant replay and you can see the uh, settings just around here oh wait it doesn't um, show up on the uh, on the recording software but uh, for you, it will show up on the top right there. So let's just turn this off again. Turn off. Go into settings. Go into overlays. So this is the status indicator. This shows whether you're recording or not. If it goes green, that means you're recording. And if it's just grayed out, it means you're not recording. So this is a way of telling uh, whether you're, you're recording or not, just to make sure it's just sort of like a safety thing. So yeah, you got your FPS counter. Obviously, the in-game FPS that you're getting displays on your monitor, so that's pretty cool. If you just want to see, uh, if you want to benchmark or whatever, that will be a um, a good way of uh, showing it. Anyway, we've got um, keyboard shortcuts here. 
So share gameplay, which is uh, pretty much the button that you, ch uh, you use in order to actually get into the software. So mine's on Alt B. You got your push to talk. You got your you got your all your key bindings here, really. Um, you can go ahead and play with those. Um, I just left. I think I left all of them on default. So, yep. And then this is the most important. Obviously, you're recording. So, Alt F10 saves the last 10 minutes, and then Alt F9 uh, toggles it on and on, uh, on and off. <clears throat> so yeah, that's all you have to really worry about for that. There we go. And then we got recordings, and this is where you want to save all your recordings. Say if you, I think, um, I think my defaulted to uh, my C drive, which was my SSD. And obviously, with an SSD, you, you don't want to really put recordings on that. Uh, say if you got a, a larger uh, hard drive, like a two terabyte, one terabyte hard drive, obviously you want to put it on that rather than your SSD. So that's obviously your output uh, file. And broadcast, this is for streaming, which we don't have to worry about that because it's this is a, a recording tutorial. With gallery, again, <clears throat> this is your this is where you want to upload it. So videos upload from desktop. If you want to upload it to Facebook or YouTube, but yeah. And then that's pretty much all you have to worry about. We got, yeah, you don't have to worry about anything else. It's just mainly overlays, keyboard shortcuts, and your where you want to record it or where you want to save it. So that's about it for the tutorial. I'll I'll have some gameplay on my uh, on this on this video to show you the quality that I'm getting uh, with the uh, with the Shadowplay. So I'll put on that now, and uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the video, and uh, I'll see you guys later. Never turn down a free reload. Attempts to recover the missing test subject have already hit a snafu. Dempsey 1.0 is currently strapped to a German rocket bound for the moon. Maybe if we use better wood, these things would last longer. Ricked off an AWOL. I have no means to secure the safe extraction of the subject. So I'll have to improvise. Proceeding as planned.